trucks I was initially bought for the requirement to cut detritus from reed beds, working directly with the coal authority dealing with the legacy of mining in the UK. The truck saw has the ability to be used throughout the year in all seasons. Not only can it remove reed detritus in the winter months when the plant matter is dead, but it also can be used in the summertime to remove pondweed at depth in open water. Therefore, it can be used throughout the year. The ability to change between different attachments has made the truck saw an attractive machine to be used in open water. The truck saw is unique in its design and manoeuvrability to access narrow slip-off slopes into water bodies, etc. Canals, wetlands, lochs. The truck saw has the ability to change between different attachments. One, the reed cutter. Two, the pond weed cutter. And three, the reed collection basket. And four, the silk pump five, the back actor, and six, the post chapper. Therefore, giving us a machine that can not only go in water, but also over open bog and prevent any damage to the natural environment. The truck saw has been brought in by the RSPB to do wetland management on our sites. Uh, this site in particular has floating vegetation, has open water, and has uh, drainage channels that over the, over the years have been filling up gradually with, with uh, floating vegetation. And at the moment, we have been in the past just been using either a canoe, a boat or whatever, just, just to try to, to, to manage this. But the size of the site is just too big. So the truck saw is the ideal piece of equipment for us to be able to, to manage these sites. Now it can work on, on the site here as, as, as a floating fen, we have, as I say, open water and, the, and the, the, the drainage channels and it's able to work in, in all these different aspects. At the moment, uh, the truck saw is, is uh, being used to, to mow the, the vegetation on the floating fen. Uh, this is obviously to help in the spring with the, the nesting birds. Uh, in the past, we've been uh, managing these with um, strimmers. Uh, by hand and when you're walking on this floating vegetation it's fine in some areas but in other areas it can be really soft and dangerous so the truck saw is an ideal machine for this sort of terrain. The truck saw today has three attachments the reed cutter, the pond weed cutter and the pond weed reed collection basket. The pond weed reed collection basket is used specifically for the removal of detritus and pond weed after it has been cut by the weed cutter or the reed cutter. The pond weed and reed detritus collector basket for the truck saw is used specifically to collect the, the waste, the detritus and the pond weed which has been either broken up or removed which is still floating and can be collected in the basket for removal either at the site or off site when required. The pond weed cutter is specifically used for the removal of invasive species, specifically pond weeds, um, New Zealand pygmy weed, bog bean matting, etc. And the, the, these, this cutter can cut anything between two and four feet below the level of the surface. Well, the truck saw is hopefully going to be important to us with regard to the lands management side, whether it be on the, the floating fen or whether it be on, on the floating bog bean islands in and then around the open water. Uh, we would be looking to, to use the machine on our, hopefully on a regular basis. Also on, on Loch of Canardie here, there's a high catchment area for the water system, so we like to keep the water channels open and the machine is ideal for that. It can work on the channel, it can remove the, the vegetation growth and then allow the, the water to, to pass through the system as it should do. At the moment we're having high levels of water in the system and this hopefully will help us to, to, to try and drain the system through. So with using the truck sir, to clear the vegetation from the hides, the visitors are going to be able to see a lot more numbers of golden eye, shoveler, tufted duck, teal, um, goosander, um, 
grey-like geese, whipper swans, and that's an amazing list of uh, vi uh, winter visitors we get here at Kinordi. The breeding waders we have here at Kinordi are snipe, curlew, red shank, um, oyster catcher and lapwing. And lapwing are sort of nationally important to conservation charities such as the RSPB. So if we get the trucks around to help us clear all this vegetation away, we're hoping to see an improvement um, an increase in the number of breeding lapwing on Kinordi. The reed cutter attachment used on the trucks are helps out with uh, managing reed vegetation that are around the hides. We'd use this to cut away the reeds to improve visibility from the hides. So when the reeds grows really high in front of the hides, it's just reducing the visibility for the visitors to see the birds on the loch. I mean, if we use the cutters to cut away the reeds, then we'd be able to see a lot more on the open water, and that could be anything from tufted duck, golden eye, shoveler, any sort of wildfowl and duck species that we get on Kinordi. Um, um, at the moment we have the smew, a male smew and a female smew, which is uh, a nice winter visitor here at Kinordi. The truck sort is not only available to organisations such as RSPB, Scottish Wildlife Trust, SNH and Historic Scotland, but also it is available for hire to local authorities, which there are 27 of in Scotland. It is available to hire on a daily basis and these details can be found at our website at www.sustainablesewagesystems.org.uk.